Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about amoebiasis. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, and you will get link of Hindi lecture. Or you can directly visit to channel my student support system. What is amoebiasis? Amoebiasis is a parasitic infection of intestine caused by a protozoa and amoeba histolytica or e histolytica. It is also known as amoebic dysentery. E histolytica exists in two forms the hardy infective cyst and more fragile. Potentially pathogenic trophozoite. It means cyst is more infective. <coughs> the parasite may act as a commensal or invade the tissue and give rise to intestinal or extra intestinal diseases. <coughs> How it spreads? Amoebiasis spreads through fecal oral route. It transmits mainly through the ingestion of contaminated food, <coughs> water, which contains amoebic cyst, which are relatively chlorine resistant. Clinical manifestations of amoebiasis The main signs and symptoms of amoebiasis are intestinal disease vary from acute or fulminating dysentery with fever, chills, and bloody or mucoid diarrhea <coughs> to mild abdominal discomfort with diarrhea containing blood and mucus, alternating with periods of constipation. <coughs> Amoebic granulomata or amoeboma may occur in the walls of large intestine. In patients with intermittent dysentery or colitis of long duration, ulceration of the skin, usually in the uh, perianal area, occur rarely by direct extension from the intestinal lesions. <coughs> the parasite may be carried by the bloodstream from the intestine to liver and causes liver abscess. Liver abscess commonly presents as right upper quadrant, abdominal pain and fever, profuse sweating and rigors, loss of weight, with worsening features associated with abscess ruptures. If abscess ruptures, then there will be other associated worsening features. What diagnostic investigations are made? The diagnosis for amoebiasis is made by microscopic demonstration of trophozoites or cyst in fresh or suitably preserved fecal specimens or stool examination is done smears of aspirates and scrapings obtained from the proctoscopy or aspirates or of the abscess or suction of the tissue so by these we can diagnose the Amoebiasis. What treatment is given? First is use of antibiotics. E. histolytica is sensitive to some uh, antibiotics such as metronidazole, tinidazole, and diloxanide furoate. Along with antibiotics, dehydration treatment is done because due to dysentery and diarrhea. There are chances of dehydration, so the patient should be treated with ORS or in severe condition IV fluids. Surgical management <coughs> sometime needed. Surgery may be needed in severe ulcerative colitis and perforation in which the affected part may be removed. Surgery may also be needed in severe liver abscess to drain the abscess followed by antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs. 
how we can prevent good practices in food uh, preparation means good food hygiene is a very good method for prevention of amebiasis good practice in water filtration disinfection and storage of drinking water and education health education to general public in the personal hygiene particularly sanitary disposal of feces and hand washing after defecation and before preparation of foods provide health education regarding the risk involved in eating uncleaned or uncooked food fruits vegetables and in drinking contaminated water public water supply should be protected from fecal contamination and disposal of human feces should be in sanitary manner <coughs> isolation for hospitalized patient entry precautions in handling the feces contaminated clothing and bed linen <coughs> exclusion of individual infected with e coli histolytica from food handling and from direct care of hospitalized and institutionalized patients thank you students for watching this video you can subscribe the channel for latest updates you can like facebook page and for making your notes you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com you can follow me on twitter instagram and join facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day <coughs>